Hello, YouTube family. I think just like a lot of um, uh, people in the US now, we are spending a lot of time on the computer, uh, working off at home, um, working off site. And it's good and bad, but again, asking yourself, am I using more computer screen? Am I using more electronic devices this year than last? And again, is your eye tired than before? Do you have any eye strain related to computer usage? You know, the other day, I have a patient come in and pose a very interesting question. She was telling me, why is she seeing flicker on her computer screen? Um, if you're suffering from this flickering symptom, I'm going to tell you we have good news to help you. Let me explain to you what happened. See, a lot of people noticing um, illusion, such a flicker on the computer screen, um, that's what we call flicker syndromes. And a lot of time people is asking, what's wrong with me? Is, am I crazy? Am I seeing something that's not supposed to see? And again, um, good news for you is that, number one, you are not crazy. And this is what we are talking about. Um, a lot of time when you do computer work, common symptoms that we have is headache, neck pain, shoulder pain, uh, difficulties in focusing back and forth from distance to near, from near to distance. Sometimes you may even experience some dryness to the eye. These are all what we call computer visual symptoms. And again, this is quite normal. However, something is not quite normal when you're looking at a computer for a prolonged period of time. If you notice that you're suffering from other things like dizziness, like nausea, or you will notice that the word move up and down, left and right, or you have a hard time concentrating or understanding word on the screen. Worse yet, when you notice that you know, the screen tend to flicker, that's something that is go beyond the normal computer symptom. And let me explain to you, we have a condition, what we call, we have a theory, what we call critical fusion uh, frequency. What I mean by that is, the critical flicker fusion frequency is that um, how much frequency can your eye tolerate and then perceive that as a steady image. In other words, if your fluorescent light is dying, you'll notice that they flicker because they flicker at a much slower rate. Normally, the CFF is about 60, meaning that if your um, refreshing rate is about 60 frames per second, you're able to perceive as a normal image, as a steady image. However, interesting enough is, that's why people are born with a different skill. Some people have a higher frequency tolerance, meaning that 60 hertz or 60 cycle per second is not fast enough. Some people have 70, 80 uh, hertz in the CFF, and that's why normally it's a perceived as a steady image. Now they see it as flickering. For those people, it's good they are good athletes because they were able to see detect small movement faster than other people. They were able to react to the incoming ball. They were able to react to any movement much faster before anyone can move. It's an advantage, but they're also suffering from a lot of things that we perceive as normal. Example is flicker. So, Again, for those people that have this unfortunate event, what can be done? Now, there's some theory, some law. Um, one of them is called Ferry Porter Law, and the other one is called Greenlink Harper Law. And what they're saying is that they address to this, pop, this uh, population that have a higher CFF. What you can do is very simple. Number one, you can dim your screen. The reason is because, again, when you're dimming your screen, you also suppress your, uh, your rod perceptor. By doing that, you do not see the periphery or do not see the movement as much. Number two, you can also sit further back. Size make a difference. The larger the image size, easier for you to see the flicker. So if you're able to sit back, looking at the image with the central vision instead of with the peripheral vision, you're able to see less flicker. And then of course, you know, this applies to everyone who work a lot on a computer screen, take break in between so that you will not stare at the screen all day long and causing this flickering problem. And again, thank you for watching us and we'll see you next month.